going on guys? Um, today we're going to show you what's involved in putting a 73 power stroke in a 67 to 77 high boy using our Bolton mounts for a 73. This is a 67 to 77 F250 high boy four wheel drive chassis that we use our mounts on. Um, we have these directly on our website. These bolt right into a factory location um, using factory hardware and using the OBS style rubber engine mounts. Um, in order to use those, we'll have to notch the cross member out some for the oil pan and dampener clearance. Um, it uses the factory transmission cross member that we just slide back with the high boy rubber mount. Um, this truck in particular, we're, uh, we're gonna have to cut out the low hump uh, floor cover for a high hump for the ZF5 to clear. Other than that, um, retains factory firewall, and all we have to do is just trim this pinch down some um, for some up-hype clearance. But other than that, it fits factory firewall, factory core support, factory radiator, factory clutch fan. Um, and that makes it super easy on putting a 7.3 on these thing, in these trucks. So we're gonna show you how it gets done. This truck, for an example, we see this time to time. These shock mounts are in the second forward hole. Um, with our mounts, we're gonna have to move it back to the to the rear hole, which doesn't affect any shock lineup. You can kind of see they're forward from the uh, axle already. So we just move those back on both sides. That way you don't have to do, that way you don't have to drill any holes into the mount, our mounts itself to make them fit. So now let's get these old engine perches out of the way so we can get the new ones installed. As you see, this is our passenger side motor mount. Um, we have the notch out for the brake line itself, which is kind of just flopping around in there. Put these bolt right into the factory location. Like that, you get some bolts on there and get that installed. And there's the motor mounts installed. Bolts right into the factory locations, no holes need to be drilled. Fits around the brake lines. We have a notch out for that right there. Um, like I said, this truck's just getting mocked up because I'm not using the shock mounts itself, but those would go in the two rear mounting holes themselves. They just get moved to the back location. So now, next thing is to get the motor and trans mated together and get the cross member cut out. Now we got the cross member marked out to where we need to cut it for the oil pan clearance. Um, it's going to run down basically to the seam right here, all the way across. Um, these measurements will be given to you um, if you purchase our mounts. That way, take some of the guesswork out of it for you. But that's basically where you're gonna cut, right there on the X, crossed out line. Let's get that cut. Now that this is cut out, we'll go ahead and clean these cuts up a little bit and uh, we'll test fit the motor. Now, if you don't have access to a welder to put uh, boxes back in, you can leave this open. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, obviously, it looks a little better if it is boxed in, um, but that's totally fine to leave open if you're... So like mentioned before, um, this is a low hum truck, which came in a lot of automatics and half ton trucks. Um, we need the high hump conversion on this for the ZF5, so we're going to go ahead and get this marked out and get this cut out um, so we can uh, do so. For starters, we just did a pretty rough 
uh, cut just to get the panel out of the way so we can get the trans and everything in here. Um, we'll go back and clean up these edges and then this on these little flat spots right here is where the clips go and you'll drill holes and then the high hump cover goes right in here and we put some uh, some butyl in here just to you know seal everything back down but that's basically how you convert it to a high hump. Next thing you can cut out here is this pinch seam for the up pipe clearance. There's the firewall pinch trimmed out for the up pipes. This is a mock-up engine we're using. Um, this is like a 2000 Super Duty engine with 94 and a half to 97 OBS mounts. They bolt right onto the block, they're the same block. Um, I get asked that quite often if they're the same engine or if they're uh, interchangeable, and yes they are. Uh, ZF5 out of an OBS truck, two wheel drive. And then this is the factory style high boy uh, bump side, dent side, um, transmission mount. It bolts right up to the ZF5, no problem. And it works perfect. That way we can use the factory cross member. OBS mount on this side as well. Ignore the oil pan, that's just the mock-up pan. Um, you, don't, you do not need to notch that or do anything there. Uh, and that's just on there for no reason really. So let's get this thing sitting in there. There we have it. 7.3 Power Stroke and ZF5 transmission installed in a 67 to 77 High Boy truck using our mounts. There's a notch in the cross member that we've got to do. Plenty of room. Um, that will get boxed in later. This is just the mock up stage. Plenty of enough room for steering shaft. Obviously the wrong columns in there, but as you can see, there's plenty of room. There's up pipe clearance. Um, as far as turbo and downpipe stuff goes, um, we've had seen these work with the factory smashed um, OBS style downpipes. Um, you could do some clearancing for a three inch. Um, we like to run them out the side right here and down um, just so we don't have to modify the firewall at all. We like to keep it original. Um, some factory boosters fit if you have the small dual diaphragm ones. The big ones obviously won't with the valve cover clearance, um, but we do hydro boost on a lot of these. Go down and look at the trans cross member. So this is the factory cross member and mount. Obviously everything's loose right now. Um, all you do is slide it back on these pads. This one's probably not exactly where it needs to be, but um, we cut out all three of those rivets, pull this uh, little tower off, and we'll re-drill it and then reinstall it with bolts. Um, or you can make a different cross member or modify that or um, whatever you choose for that. Also with this, we don't have a yoke on it to really demonstrate it, but the factory drive shaft fits in there. Um, all you do is do a 1350 to 1310 or a 1330 um, conversion U joint on there. Um, that way, keep that original drive shaft in there, or you could upgrade it to 1350 on both ends and have something a little stronger, but if you want to get it on the road soon, um, that's all it takes. Trying to make it pretty, pretty easy and simple, but otherwise, everything fits in there like it should. I mean, it's, it's tight clearance with these things, but um, we make it work. So, other thing you guys are probably going to want to know is uh, how we're going to wire this thing, and that is our standalone harnesses. This one is still in the works. It's not 100% done yet, but. We built standalone harnesses here for these. Um, we've done a bunch of them, um, anything from 95 to 01 trucks. Makes it super easy to swap, simple power and ground hookup. We got tack output, 
um, wait to start, all the all the stuff that you're gonna need for the bear for to make the engine run by itself, bare minimum. Um, we have these on our website as well as the motor mounts. We have clutch pedal braces, throttle pedal mounts, um, and a few little things for these trucks to make swaps way easier. Um, so if you want to go ahead and check that out at fordallbuilt.com. So this is part one of our build series on uh, seven three swaps and the high point trucks. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please reach out. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see more of stuff like this, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we'll probably do a full series on this, different parts on wiring, um, hooking up the clutch pedal, throttle pedal. Um, probably do exhaust and some plumbing on that. Um, radiator stuff, um, and uh, if there's anything in particular you guys want to see, just let us know and we can uh, make it happen. But uh, thanks for watching.